everyone. Uh, just got a capture card, so I thought I would try to make sure it's actually working correctly. And uh, try to stream some Momodora, uh, Reverend Under the Moonlight. It's like a bite-sized uh, Metroidvania game that is a lot of fun. So shouldn't take too long to do a full run through of this game. I don't think I'll do it all tonight, but um, let's see how far we get. I haven't played it in a while. This game was made by a very small team. It's actually the fourth in a series. Um, I think the first three were all made by one single person. And a slightly larger team. Um, for this game. So, it's a little bit So, he was able to do some pretty cool stuff with the limitations that he had. basically in this game. Uh, those purple sparkly items. I don't remember what they're actually called in this game, but you can use those to buy items. And I've actually just played through this once, so I don't remember. And that was quite a while ago too, so I don't quite remember uh, everything about it. Okay. So, uh, bellflowers are like potions, basically. They Heal a little bit of health. I think you can scroll through your items. Uh, I can't remember what it is right now. I'm trying to find out when I get another item now. There's like a stun mechanic when you hit uh, different enemies. So this gives you a, a, a hint, basically, that you need to be able to, you need to shoot your arrow. You can shoot your arrow by using the trigger. And you can charge it up by holding it. So hitting that orb actually causes this uh, platform surface so you can use it. Yeah, you can spam that pretty quickly. But you can even shoot it forward. And you also have a roll, which is kind of like a Dark Souls roll. You have uh, iframes, uh, so you can dodge easily. If you hit a ballot, save your progress. Um, actually, I'll like a bonfire in Dark Souls as well. It's an easy touch point to uh, reference. Metroidvania. Uh, you just, uh, you just remember those points in the map, and then uh, reference them later. To get new items. reference. Uh, every time you hit one of those spells, um, kind of like your Estus Flask. 
You having dreams, guys? flowers so I do have three uh, healing items again. fragment. She either gives you further information once you meet some criteria, or if you have enough money, she may become a merchant. I can't remember exactly what it is.
Game's audio is way louder than your mic. Not sure if you know that. Oh no, I didn't. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know that. Let me see if I can fix it. There, is that any better?
about it after I... Uh, I thought they were gonna drop uh, vertically. I thought the item was gonna save. save. familiar all but it looks cool and fun. Yeah, it's like a a really small Metroidvania game. Like really well done. Uh, really cool art style, great animation, controls really well. Um, and I'm playing it on Switch tonight. They have it on I think PS4 now as well. He's really uh play into the game too much in this. I think maybe there's like some side quests you can do. Like collecting items to bring to them, but outside of that I don't think they played into it too much. Yeah, I'm guessing the undead witch is the one we just fought. Can't remember her name.
hearing you over the game audio. There's also a weird intermittent popping sound in the game audio. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to... Uh, the first time I'm trying to use this uh, capture card, so I have it set up incorrectly. Unfortunately. Let's see if I turn that down more. Is that any better? Hopefully that worked. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I think you can keep donating more and more money. And I can't remember if you get a reward for it or not at the end. Hmm. Just went to 15 again. Can't remember what it is exactly. Yeah, Jacques, did you ever check out the, uh, the game Blasphemous? That was another, like, Castle, Castlevania, Metroid-type game that was made by a smaller company, uh, I guess it came out last year. Okay, so now we have all our Bellflower bags as well, so that's good. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and get that health back. Yeah, I think this that's meant for higher level. <laughs> that's got destroyed in there. And let's see. I'll try and go up. Nope, this is okay. Faintly hear that, uh, that witch. That's locked too. Oh, I couldn't even see him. I do wish you could air dodge, that's the one thing. I haven't gotten too deep into Blossoms yet, but I like it a lot so far. Got the physical version from Limited Run a while back. Feels like a mix of Metroidvania and Souls game. Yeah, I got the uh, I got the digital copy, I had kickstarted it um, when it was on Kickstarter. I liked it, I played it through the whole way. Um, 
I felt like some of the items were just kind of fodder for collecting, but um, I enjoyed it. It looks like they just released a patch for it too, so it kind of cleaned up some of the platforming issues that were present. There were some bosses in Blasphemous that were really hard. I was actually considering going between either Blasphemous or this tonight to to test it, uh, or to test the Elgato. Um, this is a much shorter game, so I thought I'd play this for a little bit. I can't remember if I'm supposed to actually do anything here. Doesn't look like it's ringing any further than... Okay. Uh, hopefully that big one didn't spawn back. Nope, she didn't. Oh, those were spikes! I thought that was a pit <laughs> for me to, like, fall into. Wow, that was a lot of progress lost. Okay. Let's try this one first. some PS4. I really like the art style. Yeah, and it shouldn't be that that expensive. Um, even when I bought it like a year ago, I think it was only fifteen dollars. Yeah, I'll buy that again. And it, it controls really well. Like, there's nothing that's like super technical in this game. Um, it's just like a fun, pretty easy playthrough. I think my first playthrough of it was like seven hours, maybe. So it's not something that. You have to devote a ton of time to. Uh, surrounded by cats. Yeah, so she may be the one that gives me that crest. Monastery key, okay. Most of our population is completely degenerated. So... Monastery... Back here, I believe. 
something about everything that... Yeah. Save it so I don't have to do that again. Maybe it's up here. That may have been the question mark door. Nope. Okay. Ah, uh, even the uh, the remnants of that will curse you. Uh, cursing in this game doesn't allow you to use items at all. And I think it's time... I think it's limited time. Uh, or maybe when I get to a bell. Yeah, so I can use it again now. shoot them with arrows instead of jumping into them. items I bought earlier in the game and didn't save. Yeah, I need to do attack cancels. And I gotta roll away from her when she does that, because those are uh, gonna curse me every time. Three hits. Ah, okay. So I can get three hits and then she's automatically gonna recover and hit me. Can't roll into her, I have to roll away from her. As long as I don't get cursed, I should be fine. That does a lot of damage. Two hits is done. Yeah, so that's when she starts doing her leaping attack. Okay. Three hits and get out. Looks like she does it consistently too, so. Uh, I didn't think she turned around though. I thought she was kind of locked into going into the direction she was when she started that attack. Ah, that would be all cursey. Huh. Oh. Let's see what's down here real quick. Okay, so this connects. Ivory bug. Okay, yeah, some more collectibles. I think there's a NPC that asks you to collect those for her. 
may as well save it. Yeah, so she, she only does the two attacks prior to, uh, that's actually harder to time for me. I guess I can just stay back here and <laughs> spam arrows at her until... Ah. Yeah, and hitting her interrupts the lightning too, so there we go. Not too bad. So I think this is an extra ability. Oh no, this is a crest fragment. Okay. Essence grants the ability to a no bow charge level. And that also I think allows me to open the uh, the doorway as well earlier in the game. I thought I did like a arrow barrage. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So you kind of get in the habit of just running around charging your bow at all times. will kill me, so I'd rather save after beating that boss. Alright, no. I'll go ahead and finish up that area up there. to my advantage too. Chase me that much. Tainted missive. Temporarily increases the deck by 100%, but at the cost of hit points. Okay. Followers of Vessel and preach forgiveness, but their thoughts are spiteful and filled with hatred. Okay. 
That may come in handy once in a while. Ah, I have a bell. That's right. This may come in later. For right now, just give me money whenever I hit it. in this game is, is nice. Might be worth it actually to go back to that first uh, vendor and buy her out now. Some of those items are pretty helpful. Same text as before. Yep. No new information. I like the parallax scrolling for the uh, the backgrounds too. It's weird. It's like a is there a hidden platform up here? I've noticed it the last time too. I just thought it was a glitch, but it's consistent. You grab the uh, Uncharted games on PS4, Jacques. I know they uh, they added them for free to I think everybody who had a PS4, which is pretty nice. I've actually never played them. Totally agree about the parallax scrolling and those backgrounds are cool. Yeah, it's like very Castlevania inspired. But um, I'm okay with that. Okay, so now. Sometimes enemies will drop. Okay, I don't need to worry about as money as much. May as well know when secrets are around instead. Did you ever try Bloodborne? I can't remember if you said you had or not. Oh, so I don't have the Cursed Crest. I got the Monastery Key, that's right. But what uh, crest did I get? Crest Fragment. Okay. That's right. Alright, so let's see. I did, haven't started them yet, but I'm going to. Just finished Catherine Full Body last weekend. I got one of like 15 endings. <laughs> yeah, that game had a ridiculous amount of endings. Can't remember which one I got when I played through it. I could give that game another play though. Let's get to a 
safe area and see what's important to us. Nope. I guess we can go straight down. Or we're probably gonna have to go back to the monastery and maybe head down that way. Let's do that. Yes, I really like Bloodborne, need to spend more time with it. Yeah, it there's like a few walls that you hit in that game, but once you get past them and kind of get in the flow of it, it it's probably my favorite PS4 game. Yeah, I don't want to go down into the water. That's what was down there. Like, it ruined other games for me for a long time because anytime I wanted, I sat down to play something else, I just thought I would rather be playing Bloodborne. the hitbox. Couldn't even see him. Still locked. Okay. How far did you get in Bloodborne? Do you remember? Yeah, I died really quickly when I came down here last time, so... I just heard a... a little chime, which I mean... Which I think means there's a secret nearby. It could have been this enemy's attack though too, so. I wasn't even aware that was gonna be there. I have a ton of games I need to finish. And start for the matter. Which is why I said yeah. find a bell in this area, so I feel safer exploring it. Yeah, I had an Xbox 360, and I had a PlayStation 3 for a little while, and then I traded it in when I got my PS4. Um, the only reason I wish I hadn't traded in my PS3 was because I want to play Demon Souls, and I really thought they would uh, make it compatible in some way on PS4, but it just hasn't happened. first boss. This huge monster you found. Yeah, the, the uh, cleric beast, I think. I definitely need to get more acclimated to Valakar that. Yeah, it takes a while to get used to. It took me a little while to get used to it as well, and that was even after playing the Dark Souls games that were out at the time. Which, I mean, it's different, but it's definitely a good primer for the type of combat you're doing. Shocked to not a fancy version of Demon Souls on PS4 yet. Yeah, me too. Um, you would think, especially since Sony like uh, funded the development of it by FromSoft, that they would have made a remaster or something by now. I'm guessing they'll probably do it on PS5. It's 
kind of late in the cycle to uh, do a full remaster of a game on PS4. Can I make that? I think I can. Yeah. <laughs> I think there'd be something there. I think these levels are designed well enough, but I just want to make sure I don't fall right on the spikes. <laughs> trap over there. I could get rid of. Eh, I don't want that yet. I'll buy it, but I won't equip it. Because at some point, money won't mean anything anymore. Now it'd be nice to just have HP regen. I wish Sony would somehow give the PS5 backwards compatibility back to PS1. I know it's not happening, but don't even know if it'd be technically feasible, but it'd be nice. Yeah, that would be really nice if they would just go ahead and do that. I know that the, uh, the PS3 had like a very different architecture, and then the PS2 had like some type of chip in it that was very specific to how it processed games. PS1 emulation should be super simple though, I mean, it's not uh, anything super technical. They could really just load the BIOS, BIOS on uh, any chip and it should be able to run it. That's a nice effect. Maybe I should have waited and not spent anything. <laughs> see where he is on the map so I can remember. Okay. Yeah, I'd love it if they made the PS5 fully backwards compatible, though, that would be awesome. Okay, so that slows down my movement a little bit. Oh, that's a mimic. Bunch of explosive barrels. If I had that drill arrow, I could use it now and hit those um, 
barrels behind her. Oh, she uh, actually has collision on her. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, it worked. I don't know how smooth it is. It looks like it's a, a little choppy, maybe, on my preview, but I may have to uh, mess with it a little bit. How you doing, Maddie? Yeah, so he's telling us that there's four pieces of the crust now, and I have one of them already. Probably get the second one shortly. There's the midair dodge. Um, I think it looks okay, but I don't know what the game is supposed to look like. It should be pr it should be pretty fluid. Um, I'll have to check the I, my phone's dead or else I'll just load it up. Uh, this is called Momodora: uh, Reverie of the Moonlight. It's a a uh, Metroidvania game that's pretty small. Like I think my first playthrough was seven or eight hours. Um, but it's fun, it's really well designed, uh, really cool art style, good music, good play control, so um, I really enjoyed it the first time I played it, so I thought I'd try it again. So basically, you're this girl who, uh, your village is being destroyed by some type of curse, and you're traveling to this, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. You're traveling to this, uh, castle to try and rid yourself of the curse, basically. to where I fell down. Can't get through there yet. That doesn't open anything. Okay. Ah, uh, I knew as soon as I hit attack that I did it too early, or too late. Can my midair dodge? Nope, just left and right. Okay. Alright, so now I can head up and to the left, I think. And that also greatly increases my horizontal jump, because I can dodge in midair as like a third jump now. I don't have enough bells to uh, earn enough money to warrant going back to that merchant yet. Try and go up further. Nope, okay everything up here that I can do right now. Yeah, this is a fun game. I think you'd like it. I have it on Switch, unfortunately. It's not, not in my Steam library, so you can't just try it out, but it's not super complicated like some of the other games of this genre. 
it's pretty easy to pick up and get used to the controls. Um, so. Okay. Oops. Oh, it has a has a cooldown. There it is. Okay. How'd your stream go last night? I know we started like right at the same time. <laughs> um, let's see. I could go up that super long ladder. Yeah, because that was a that was a dead end to the left. Phone wanted to buy more Switch games though, so that works. Yeah, this one's cheap too. Um, it goes on sale quite a bit because people don't really know about it. This is a long ladder to uh, not have a fast travel for. <laughs> There's some really interesting like indie games coming out on Switch that I'm looking forward to. Uh, Axiom Verge 2 is coming out, which looks really good, and is still developed by a single person, Thomas Happ. I don't know how he does it. Um, and I actually saw that there's a Record of Lotus War Metroidvania coming out, which is exciting for me. That's like It was one of my favorite animes. I haven't seen it since like the year 2000, but <laughs> um, I really liked that When I was younger and I got into it even before it was an anime. It used to be a What did they call them in Japan? They called them like replays or something like that where it was basically like a um, a narrated Dungeons and Dragons campaign, basically, where you would just like read the narration of somebody's D and D campaign, and they decided to make novelizations out of those replays, and uh, then it turned into an anime series after that. I feel like I shouldn't be leading the monastery yet. I can go over here and go down. See if anything opens up this way. It's still locked. I have a midair dodge now. I need to utilize it. Oh, that rock didn't even interact with me. Must be on a different, different layer. Did I do everything here? That's where the crust is. I could go down, I guess, into the water. Right. I do have the ability to swim without dying. Well, I guess we'll find out, huh? Gonna pay attention where those water bubbles are in case I start losing health very quickly. <laughs> there we go. I'm sure we'll loop around there then. Okay. Didn't realize that this is a completely, you play as a silent character, or completely silent character. It's funny that they didn't even have, like, a speech bubble above her. Uh, 
Oh, hey, Maddie, uh, would you mind? I actually added a, uh, what is that, like a chat bot or whatever? Um, and I think there's like SO for shout out and uptime. I don't know what else. But would you mind just trying one of those uh, commands real quick? See if it works. This should bring me back to where. Yep, okay. So if I go down this way. Secret chime again, too, so there's something here. Oh, he's in jail now. I didn't run into him before. Charging my uh, arrows constantly. Hold on a minute. That's a broken ball right there. Ah, that's booby trapped. Uh, chest. Oop. Okay. Can't get up there yet. Just out of reach. save point up there that I missed? Or was it just broken so I can't use it yet? I think it was just, yeah, it was the broken one. Okay. that uh, shiny yet because I don't have the uh, perk needed to get through there yet. falls and can hit you after you kill her. Mm. 
Okay, so that was a one way before. Spikes over there. What's this unlock? Ooh, okay. Clarity shard. Increases visibility in dark areas. Yeah. Be nice. Increase the attack by 100% on. Okay. I don't really use those that often anyway. I try not to let my health get that low to begin with. And then this leads. So I hit that bell again since I just lost some chill, but we'll have to see what's over here. You'd think there'd have to be something over there for those spikes to be so enticing. Oh, okay. This looks like a boss arena. Yeah. Hope she can't keep throwing that thing. Ah, oh, that's cheap. Alright, I'm gonna have to definitely take her out next time before I go into this arena. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dang, my service is having a tough time tonight. Cannot get streamer mode. Oh, that stinks. I know that a lot of people's ISPs have been getting hammered lately, just with so many people online. I have a guard mechanic. Interesting. Spawn. Don't need this for a fight. Don't worry, not worried about kills. I don't know if they have any status elements, but that'll be helpful. So I can use that uh, to really increase attacks by 100. So I could double up on my attack right now. And then use the bells. Let's try that. The phase shift, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say if there's gonna be one, it'll be right now. Head's not really doing any more damage, so what's this gonna be? Wow, okay. <laughs> An instant kill. I wonder if it wants me to uh, jump over him and air dodge to the other side. Such a troll uh, placement for an enemy.
That's the charge. Okay. Okay. Looks like he doesn't have a hitbox, so. Okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> Did I get him locked in the pattern? Quite. Pretty close though. Yeah, he's he may as well have been locked in a full pattern. Which one is this? Ability to charge arrows faster. Okay. Three of the four crests. down and explore over there a little bit more, I think. area. Okay. A lot of spikes. Bug. Oh, garden key. Okay. So that's gonna open some door. I wish it didn't mark a uh, door so on here. That would be helpful. Maybe on the extended map it does. Nope, it doesn't. It's the exact same thing. Okay. 
Yeah, I think I'm done with this area for now. Hey, I'm doing well. Presento, how are you? Doing uh this is my second second run of uh Momodora. Haven't played it in I guess it's been about a year now. Enjoying it just as much as I did the first time. Uh, I could have gone down into the oh no, that was a locked door. Okay. Awesome. Glad you're doing well. We've uh, completed three bosses in this so far, and now we're uh, looking for the fourth. Can't remember where to go, so I'm just looking for open areas. Uh, just got the garden key. And I think the garden was over here, so we'll try this out. That's the uh, platform rising again. <laughs> yeah, have you ever seen this game before, right? Uh, Resento? We've already been here. This is the person who wants the ivory bugs, I believe. Okay, you played it multiple times before. Yeah, I'm definitely not super familiar with it, but I enjoy it. Have you ever played a uh, like Mom Momodora one through three? Yeah, he just gives you money, right? Unless you collect all, all twenty of them, and then he gives you something else. And I think they just created a. Uh, another one, right? It's not Momodora, it's named something else, but it's by Bomb Service, um, and uses much of the same art style. Never played the previous ones, but I've watched a lot to play with them. Yeah, I've never played them either. I'm not sure if they used Game Maker as well, um, but um, I've really enjoyed this one. Minoria, that's it. To check out Minoria at some point. I would like it to go on sale. I know these games typically do pretty often. Another bell 
flower. Okay. Grants poison properties to your enemies. Okay, that's a good one to remember. What other games do you play, Rosenzo? Is this that undead witch again? Or witch of decay? Yeah. stops the charging. So it's getting hit. Oh man, that took a little more than I thought it was going to. I play all kinds of games, but on Switch I play principally Smash Brothers. Yeah, on Switch, the Switch has become like a Mario Maker machine for me <laughs> for a little while, but um, I'm also playing Octopath Traveler. Um, this right now I'm playing on Switch. Um, Octopath has been really fun. Oh, already, huh? Looks like there's a lot of good games coming out on Switch soon though. I saw like a indie showcase that showed a lot of really good like 2D side scrollers like this and other Metroidvania type games, which I'm a huge fan of. Forgot this platform got smaller. rolls out a little bit more. There we go. I like the indie game presentation. Yeah, me too. Ah, oh, that's right. I forgot about this. I remembered you got here, I just didn't remember how they brought you here. Did you know that if you defeat a boss without getting hit, you get an item? I did, actually. Um, I think I did it accidentally with one of the bosses um, my first time through, but um, not any other time after that. <laughs> yeah, this is when you get your cat power. That's right. Which, do they even explain why you have a cat power? Does it have to do with the witch in the uh, monastery? Do I want to go that way first? No, I'll check this out first. I'll check this real quick first before I leave.
Well, looking at that square right, it looks like it leads to the left. Or, to the right. Is it down here? Yeah, that's right. That's right, you bring something to her. Okay. Yeah, just just some type of curse in general. I like the rolling animation for the cat. <laughs> uh, is there something down there? Nope, okay. Got the cat sphere, and that's what lets me uh, morph between the two, correct? do it yet. Oh, okay. Oh, because I was... yeah, that makes sense. Let's go the first. The crouching animation for the cat is so cute. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it's ready to pounce. <laughs> I just saved, let's see. Yeah, okay. Mm, okay, so I don't need to go that way anymore. That would just been a faster way out. <laughs> Dodge will run into that one. all the enemies in this game do to you until I get hit. What is it, babe? something here I got earlier. Faster to explore it this way. 
No. <laughs> I forgot I was going to trigger that. Yeah, even the idle animations are really cute in this game. I guess we have time to see them now, huh? Did I say something different? not that. It's not up. I can go down and see if I can go through those areas. You made it to a computer, you have internet again. <laughs> yeah, ours has been pretty, pretty stable here. Uh, I don't know if I'll beat it tonight. Probably not. Um, I honestly don't remember how much is left of it. But I can turn into a cat now. So, this might be the right game for you. <laughs> no, oh that was close. Oh, this is the trap that I ran into before. So I really should have explored up there before I fell down. That's a big loop to go through to get back up there. Hmm. Okay. Oh, thanks for hosting, Maddie. Let's see if I can go any further down there. Hour and thirty or two hours left? Okay. Yeah, because I remember, I remember the uh, once you get into the castle, the castle itself was actually pretty large. There we go. I can get through here now. I don't remember the pattern for this. Oh, you've played this too. Oh yeah. Yeah, he said he'd play. He's played it a few times. He or she. I apologize. <laughs> I knew that was a bad time, bad time jump as soon as I died. Cinder key. I'm trying to remember where I fought the cinders. Yeah, this is this is a really good indie game. Do you remember how many people were on the team that made this? Because I know that like Momodoro one through three were were like one or two man operations. Nothing else, but the cinder key will definitely help. And I can't warp yet, so. Yeah, I would definitely check this one out, Maddie. Um, I think you'd enjoy it. Like, you said you haven't played that many platformers. Um, this would be a good one to start with. There's like one or two fights that can be difficult, but. It would be a good primer for Dark Souls. <laughs> like getting used to the uh, spotting enemy patterns and things like that. 
Yeah, I think he was mostly alone too. I know that he had a few people join him for this one, and then he may have had a few more people from Minoria, um, but I'm not sure. I think on the uh, the bomb service page, he still says like, "I have things in store." Though he doesn't really say that the team has things in store, so maybe it is just him still. I forget what that does. You still enjoying Breath of the Wild, Matty? Yeah. Oh, that turns off the ball and chains. That's right. Goodness. I'm gonna get to a safe place so I can use my bell flower. That was a fall, right? Or is that up the long ladder? Actually, I actually haven't played it in over a week. I've been super busy with other stuff, sadly, but I'm excited to play more this weekend. Awesome. Yeah, it's it's a fun game. Okay, that's the super long ladder. Starting cooking mama tomorrow. Excited about that. Yeah, I, I hope it's good. I know that <laughs> there was a lot of controversy around it about just ridiculous stuff that was going on, but it turns out that it was it actually had to do with the developers not having the rights to the IP or something like that, which is incredibly strange that somebody would take the time to develop a game and not have secured full rights to it before they really go all in. Game development doesn't go particularly quickly, so. That gate's not open yet, I don't have that item. So I'm going to go back to the beginning area of the game and search through there real quick. That's the crest door. Did I ever fight the secret bosses game? I did not, no. Um, like, I played through it and enjoyed it and then set it down. So, I haven't. How do you unlock it? I can drop down there too, that's right. Yeah, so she's going where we came from. How oh, can I not drop that? Okay, let's get set. Yeah, 
I do remember reading there was a secret boss, but I never actually looked into how to trigger the fight. What other games are on my list now that I have a capture card? Not sure. Um, I was kind of looking through my Switch games, and um, there's a game called Blasphemous I may end up playing. Um, it can be really divisive, though, so I don't know. Um, there are some PS4 games. I thought I'd do a run of Bloodborne, maybe, because I was actually thinking about playing that when I was playing Dark Souls. So I may actually switch Dark Souls over to Bloodborne. Um, I just feel like I'm feeling that more right now. Um, was that Gus or was that Truman that just made that weird noise? <laughs> or was it one of the kids, maybe? Um, but yeah, I was just kind of looking through my PS4 games and kind of taking stock of what there is. You collect a special item in the monastery at the save point before the monastery boss, then you talk to a special dress nun and the door should open. No, I didn't do that. Oh, Maddie says hi. Hi! <laughs> she says hi. Yeah, I didn't do that. I, uh, I just remember, like, getting that green cube and unlocking at the watchtower, but I don't, I don't know if that's even, uh, optional. That may actually be just part of the, the main game. Let's see what's over here first. Being able to play as a cat is amazing. And it's ourselves. Yeah, they're really good in this game. That should be the fourth crest piece, I believe. To warp one praying. Yeah, so. Uh, Maddie, those uh, bells hitting throughout the game. Those are like, uh, they're pretty much analogs to uh, bonfires and dark souls. They act as like a save point, and they also let you... Uh, refill your healing items and stuff like that. So now I can warp between all the ones that are on the map. Well, maybe not all of them, but most of them. So it makes it easier to travel through the map. I think there's some stuff back here that I can pick up too. green box for the true ending. Yeah, so that's- I, I did end up going through that um, on my original playthrough. Nothing done. I believe there's something like at the very beginning though. Just be like a dog, but whatever here it is, I'll do it. Also the hardest difficulty, make you get killed in one hit. 
So doing a perfect on boss kind of game. Yeah. I don't know if... I, I have found, like, stumbled across the patterns on some bosses that kind of stun locks on them. Makes it so... You can just repeat the same process over and over. I don't know if I'm going to every boss that I'm going to do. I'm sure I could, if I just grinded for a while. Honestly, but... Oh, I can warp into that. Right? Is that how I get up there? No, that just brought me... Oh no, it did. Okay. There is something back here. I thought there was. City. Should have all four, four parts of the crust now. Uh, do I need to? Does it save automatically still? I made that. How did that game ever turn out that you were working on helping develop, by the way, like forever ago? Uh, yeah, when we were, Melissa and I were just talking about this actually. We, uh, when I s started packing so that we could move to Texas, um, I told the group that I had to, you know, step away for a while because I was going to be really busy. And then I tried to join up with them like a couple weeks later. And they basically said that like it just kind of dissolved while I was gone. I guess it was like a month or so later. And uh, they never really gave me an answer. To talk. Um, it's kind of unfortunate. Like we actually had a decent amount of work on it. Like, the gameplay was fun. We spent a decent amount of time making it. Uh, we had finally got um, some pretty decent. AI built in for the training mode for the game. Yeah. I think it's I have so many different prototypes that I've been like tinkering around with. And I just every once in a while I kinda of pick one up and start playing around with it. Um, there's one that I could see flushing out there. Um, and it would just be like a super super simple mobile game, like a time killer. Um, but for anything that I'd be like super interested in doing, I think I would need a, at least one or two other people. Because I have no uh, artistic abilities for creating assets and stuff like that.
I'd have to update Unity though, I'm like four or five versions behind. Which wouldn't be too too difficult, but I'd have to do uh look for all the deprecations and stuff like that in between. Oh, this is just a music box, right? That could be a cool streaming thing, actually. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, that could that could be interesting. I think there are game dev categories. Oh, that just doesn't open. Yeah, I'd have to refamiliarize myself with Unity in general. It's, it's been a while. When I got my new laptop, I, just, I installed it and it opened it up just to make sure that. Everything was installed correctly. Oh, I'm still in cat form. And maybe one day you'll find some other people who have come from Yeah. Yeah, the, the, that other team kind of fell in my lap. Like, <laughs> we, uh... One of the guys that owned the company... Well, the guy... The guy that owned the company... Well, the dev company... I went to high school with, and uh, he had a competition that he was basically going through to try and get like funding for the game, for a different game. So I gave him some like pointers and tips and stuff like that from a design perspective of what I thought it was lacking for when he was putting the beta together. And uh, after that, he asked if I wanted to join the team, like join and try and make a game from scratch with him and a few other people. Um, and yeah, so unfortunately, I mean, we were doing meetings a couple times a week, and you know, had good progress, but it just kind of fell apart. Drastically increases speed arrows. Add flame damage to your attacks. I'd rather save up for something like that. there being a pretty decent uh, run before you get back to that door, if I remember correctly. probably find the uh, the source code for the game we were working on and show that at some point. I don't know if I ever showed you what it was looking like. It was a very Nidhogg inspired game in general, but um, it had some extra elements added to it. We had AI and stuff built in for environmental characters that could get included in the fights and stuff like that. We had two-player control working. We actually got a, a network code set, so we were playing matches against each other with them in California um, and me in Memphis at the time. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it really did come along. It's a shame it fell apart. Three for three. I wish I was good at stuff like that. I've always thought game dev was so cool. Yeah, it's it was fun. I mean, I, th I think it was fun because it wasn't like a job. Um, it allowed me to just kind of think about what I would like to play and uh, work towards it with a team of people who were genuinely interested in it instead of doing it for a paycheck. 
Um, but if it was my job, like, I really wanted to work in game dev when I was younger, but now, I, I think between crunch times and stuff like that, it would just be incredibly difficult. Increases attack power at the risk of losing hit points. So I guess that's like an armor debuff, basically. I have a lot of trouble keeping up with all the stuff I'd like to do compared to the stuff I have to do. Yeah. Yep, it, it can be tough. Alright, so. Head to the right. Mm, can't. Oh, I can go up into the right. Just ran into our table trying to chase our cat. Sealed one. Okay, so that's the box that opens up the area for the true ending. No, okay. <laughs> that was close. Will I die if I go in there? I just can't recall. I think I... So this doesn't go over. Nope. Let's try it. How do you regenerate health in this? Um, I'll show you in one second. So, up in the upper left corner, you can see that box that I'm cycling through right now. Um, these right here, these bell flowers. Um, when you save at a bell, you replenish them. And, uh, so it's like Estus Flasks and, and Dark Souls. Um, you start off the game with, I, I believe, three of them, and then you gain more as the game goes on. So this should be open now. There we go. And you can see I just hit the bell, so I had three or four, and it went back up to seven.
does not open. Okay, so it's another shortcut I need to open up. Blaze this lever opens up that gate. Yep. Open now. Uh -huh. That was careless. Okay. Mm, boss. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and save real quick so that I can just use the shortcut to get back. As long as I don't do something careless here and die. during a boss fight. Might use that. That doesn't matter in a boss fight. Sometimes enemies, that doesn't really matter. This is really the only one. Ah, why'd it cancel? <laughs> that probably would've taken him out. There we go. Uh, I wasn't shooting for the secret boss, but... Um, I don't know, I may try it this time around. for Thank you. 
Oh no. <laughs> Knocked me up into the spikes. Control is running on battery. I'll have to plug it in a moment. Hmm. Get more health than I thought I did. Oh, that's what I was so sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now we should be inside the castle. Then. Save it. Face Castlevania, I keep thinking I can hit all the lights. I like. I like what does the hitting the bell do? Wow, ignore them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I started the message, then tried to back up and change it. Okay, I was just asking what the bell does. Uh, the bell is like a save point, basically. Um, if you hit the bell, it saves the game and it refreshes your uh, your healing items. So like, if I was to use all my healing items right now, if I hit the bell, it replenishes them. So bad at keeping up with things. Oh no. Not a problem at all. You're not bad at keeping up with things, you just don't. I think it's harder to, sometimes to pick up on mechanics when you're not actually playing a game. Like, um, if you're just watching somebody play, you're not really like going through and experiencing the flow of the game. So some things aren't as apparent. Like when I was watching uh, Blank Play Valorant earlier today, I couldn't tell what some of those things were doing. Oh, okay. Let me fall. No, some of these bad guys don't even look like bad guys because of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that game looked cool though. I think I'd like it. Even. Yeah, Valorant looks neat. I'm not good at games like that. Like, I'm not good at Overwatch or. I was okay at Counter Strike before you know the latest versions of it came out, but I haven't played it in so long. That would be worthless. <laughs> wow, that took a lot of a lot of energy away.
Yeah, I wasn't expecting to die there either. I thought I had... I don't know if my health was lower than I thought it was, or, or what, but... That was surprising. Also, just noticed you have a new pen, which is... I like them very cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh... One of the, uh... One of my friends here... Um... We were just talking, and I mentioned that... I started streaming, and he was like, Oh, do you have... Like images or whatever for like branding and I was like no I can't do that stuff and he sent it like five minutes later he just like threw it together <laughs> oh I didn't expect to do that attack Awesome. I love having telling friends who can make things for my stream. It's super helpful. Yeah, it is helpful. I just, I wasn't even expecting it. it just, I guess. He just like started sending them. Yeah, that guy takes a third of my health away with one hit. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Leave Sherman alone. Okay. okay, so that's the shortcut for that bell down there. Go ahead and hit that. And have 84% of the map done. So. <laughs> I'll hit it right on them. I don't think I can make that jump. I could be wrong, but... Oops, didn't mean to use that. What's going on? And that guy's just guarding my way up. Instead of refilling to seven, I should refill to eight whenever I hit a bell. Having learned stuff for three has definitely made me way more tech savvy than I've ever been. <laughs> Though, which is cool. Plus, yeah, definitely, I've learned a lot from computer stuff and video editing and game specs. Yeah, that's awesome. Like, and it's definitely a nice uh, benefit that you've gotten from learning how to set all that stuff up. 
and it's just interesting in general. Like, I'm glad I jumped as much as I did. Um, it, it, it's always a handy skill to have. Just the uh, tech sense in general. Um, even if you don't necessarily need it for like a job or something, it, it does help you troubleshoot different things that you could end up working on in the future or something like that. Let's not die here. There we go. Oh. Yeah, that bell's pretty far back to go back and save. Yeah, those little bird things just look so sad. That's a lot of money. Oh, Maddie, can you try a... Like a... Exclamation SO, just to see if it works for a shout-out with a... Doesn't matter who. <laughs> if there's anyone lurking, or, or yourself, or whatever. Wanted to see if it worked. I don't know how you keep up with the map in this game. Okay, yeah, so it worked awesome. Thank you. It all looks the same to me. Um, I can't use my mouse because it's going through the capture card. I don't want to do your suffering. I wonder if you get... I don't think you get anything for ending your suffering. I have an official bot, yeah. <laughs> I, I definitely like chatbot a couple days ago and played around with it a little bit and uh, just the, exe the executable like, disappeared from my machine. So I just set it up real quick and go through two or three times. if he had all the commands. Uh, not yet. Connor had a couple of interesting things going on with his last night. I was just stuck with the built-in ones for Streamlabs OBS. Having a custom one seems cool. Yeah, um, I'm gonna play around with it a little bit. It doesn't look like it's that difficult. I just need to know the, the keywords, basically. Um, I saw Connor made, like, custom, uh, uh, like, sound effects and stuff for his alerts. <laughs> All right. I don't think there's a defining difference between the two or three. Okay. That's easy enough to dodge so many at the wrong one. Uh, not if I do it multiple times so... though. <laughs> what even are those? That's not good. Get myself into a corner now. Okay. Is there any defining difference between these? Them? Nope, not that I can tell.
<laughs> Sending terrible luck. Seems more often than not to be the middle one, so... Watch it always be the middle one. Nope, okay. I would have felt dumb. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick with the middle again. Unless there's a pattern. I want to see if there's a pattern. Maybe if I do... I'm gonna hit the middle one until that's the right one. And then I'm gonna try the right one and see if that's it. Nope, so it doesn't go middle right. It's going back to middle, so I don't think there's any defined pattern. Let's try middle left. Nope. Stick with the middle one, and yeah, that seems to be the best luck. If you're into, if you're into that kind of customization for a stream, I think custom arts are super fun to work on. Yeah, like off mine are either Animal Crossing, Breath of the Wild themed, because that's what I'm playing, and I have a couple of very specific ones that are inside jokes from old streams. They're very fun to make, though. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna start looking into that. <laughs> uh, I can... Okay. It's got a little too close to me. <laughs> no doubt. Do I want to go back down? And just save it. Come on, Bell. Not good. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think that hitbox was going to hit me. Okay, I guess I gotta do that fight again. That sucks. It wasn't a hard fight, it was just a little bit tedious. I like the birds flying off the ground. I will go back and save this time though. Just wouldn't have heard about it. I'll just stick with me.
more often than not, it's the middle one. I don't know what those sprites are. Are they birds? Flying... Like, straight down? It's not a hard fight, it's just time consuming. I wish there was some identifiable difference between them. Is it hover attacks first, maybe? So in this case it'd be metal? metal? Nope, that's not it. <laughs> there we go. If you can stick it out, then it doesn't look too hard. Yeah, it's just a matter of being patient. I'll go ahead and save it this time so I don't need to do it again. Oh, I can't. I can't get back up there. Oh, I have, I have more healing. At least than I did last time. I'll just take it slower. Should have slashed through it. Yeah. Something about this area is just giving me trouble. Oh, jeez. Uh, should have taken my own advice. Uh, so how come I can't get back? It's strange to me. But they wouldn't let you. Yeah, you definitely can't make it back up there. Oh, you can just walk right through. Okay. That looks like a solid wall to me. Okay, one more time, please. Oh, you know what? Maybe let's do an arrow test real quick. Let's just see if between two of them. They're out there. Nope. Except maybe the arrow would only hurt. The one that was real. I did finish it, but I died, and I didn't save after I killed her, so unfortunately I have to do it again. But now that I know how to get back, this should be the last time. Yeah, this is the one boss fight. R really the only thing in the game so far that I felt 
could have been designed better. This is just very, uh, very tedious. Sorry, I meant to grab a snack. <laughs> yeah. No, the, the part after this just is, uh, really tearing right through my health. There's just too much downtime in this fight, where you're not doing anything. That's time level four, I think. One, two, three. Yeah, level four that time. So I wasn't even doing the middle one every time. Okay, well, let's go save this time. That's right, I died on the elevator because the hitbox was so big. So all I need to do is make sure that I stand on one side of the elevator. Whenever that triggers, that gives me the space to get over there. Okay, so let's just stay active for a while. That does a lot of damage if I can get charged up in time without having to roll. <laughs> Watch my controller die right in the middle of this fight. Ah, 
little bit more vertical height. There we go. Still the hitbox. Uh, second phase with a full health bar. Hmm, a little bit of bullet hell, maybe? Interesting, it's letting me fully charge during this time, though. Oh, but I can't reach her. Okay. Well, good to know that I need to preserve some of my, uh... Oh, I can actually, uh... If I get close to her... Charge if you get close to her, does a decent little damage. Spiral. <laughs> I can see that. No. That's not a good place to be in. Let's see how it goes. I think there's a third phase, but there could be. Bad ending, yeah. <laughs> In case it wasn't clear enough, it's definitely a bad ending. Okay, well, got through the full game actually in one stream, which I wasn't expecting to do. Been streaming almost three hours, so um, I may uh, continue this at some point and uh, go through and get one of the better endings. So, but that was fun. Uh, good test too. Two hours and 46 minutes. Yeah, five hours and 30 minutes is... This is my first run through, I think. Yeah, I definitely have more here. But, yeah. It's a fun game. I definitely, uh, definitely recommend it. It doesn't really have as much attention, uh, as I think it should get, so. Yeah, I'm glad the capture card worked too. I'm gonna have to check the VOD and see if it was as choppy as it looks in Streamlabs, because it should look pretty smooth. Um, and I just have to play with the settings a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's see. Uh, see if anybody found to host. Computer's running very slow right now. Yeah, 
have a number of different games that I could potentially stream from uh, my Switch. That would be fun. Blackbeard would be fun. So would Blossomus. Yeah, we do some amount of Switch games. Um, see. The uh, Krypton and Necrodancer, uh, Cadence of Hyrule could be fun too. Cuphead could be fun. All types, all sorts of games on here. I don't see anyone currently live that I know. Do you know anyone, Matt? Too. It's it's hard now that the uh, now that I've gotten into those hacks, like those have been really really interesting to play so far. Um, Celeste could be a good one too. Be in a blind forest. Um, play Secret of Mana. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of decent games on here. They could. Be <laughs> All right. Um, I think I'll just log off. Then. It's twelve thirty. I should probably get to bed. I've been up since around five o'clock. Um. All right. Well, thanks for joining the stream. And, uh, yeah, Orient Divine Forest is really big right now. Yeah, they just released like a. Uh, I don't know if it was an expansion or if it was a follow up or what. Um, but I haven't actually played it yet, so that would be that would be a fun one. I played like the first. 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, so let me try that. That would be fun.